I'm John Wheatley. I'm the uh, owner and operator of uh, L and W Bedding. We've been uh, producing mattresses for a little over 25 years, and um, we do sell uh, mattresses to the Salvation Army. And we are today are going to show you how one of them is made and, and why it's a good buy. But before I get into that, I'd like to um, tell you that when the Salvation Army does sell this bed to you and the proceeds that come from that are saving lives um, through the Adult Rehabilitation Center. Um, and so it's a good thing. So it will go to a good cause. Okay, before we start the process of building the bed, I want to show you why beds get dips in them. They, and it, this happens to... Um, you know, mattresses over a long period of time, and even these days it actually happens a lot quicker than it used to. But on any inner spring now, this is a, uh, I believe it's a 312 coil count, but there's all different coil counts, but they all have what we call as a cavity and a gap. And they will vary with coil count. But in all reality, where my fingers are right now, this is what's reflecting or pushing back on the body weight. So when we put the pad on there, and then the body weight goes in there and weeks and months and years goes by, what's happening is the body weight is beating this pad into the cavity and it's causing what we call as a cookie cutter effect. This is what's happening when your bed develops a dip. And so why I'm showing this is to sh tell you when we go to build the, this new bed that the Army is buying that why this will not happen. So this is why it wears out and we're gonna show you how we're gonna stop or greatly slow down this process. This is really the first process of, of building a bed. We wanna show you the quilting process. And this is where the, the FR products are put into the bed so that these beds are all, um, they pass the 13, 1633 federal law that is an open flame test. So we, are, we have complied with that law. This is the first process, is getting the quilting done. Okay, now after the quilting process done is now when, is when we gotta cut these, um, the sizes, and then we will then sew them um, together before the process of applying them to the, to the mattress spring is done. So we've gotta be quite precise in making sure that these are uh, cut properly. This here is the, the third process, is where we're making a thing which is called a gusset. And you'll see this a little further down in, but it's three products. It's a flange, it's an inner decking, and then it's a little four inch border. This is what's gonna produce the, the, the actual pillow top. So he is gonna sew this and you can kinda see how this is done. This is the inner decking of the bed. This is what's applying or being attached uh, um, to the inner spring itself. Uh, a lot of the, you know, the bigger, the bigger mattress companies, they, they don't do it like this anymore. This is like an old fashioned way of doing it. This is uh, how a bed's gonna hold up a lot longer um, instead of uh, perimeter sizing it or doing a what's called a Euro top. So this is a, an actual real pillow top gusset. Okay, this here is now the, actually the beginning of building the mattress. And so we have, uh, what we have in this uh, Elegance uh, line is a, it's a 357 Verticoil and this inner spring is made in, uh, in Missouri. So all of the products that we do use to produce this bed are made in the United States. So there's nothing imported here. This layer of netting is uh, produced in Minnesota. And what this netting is gonna do is it's going to prevent what I just showed you on the little sample of the, um, the divoting of, the, of the, the, the fabric breaking down on the inside of the bed. So this is a, a process that a lot of the big companies don't want to do because it's kind of time consuming. But we feel as though that we're a local company and we, we're, you know, we want to sell a great bed. So then the next step he's going to do is he's going to be putting on a what's called a, an HR uh, polyurethane foam, which is a very, which stands for high resilience. So it's a high grade foam what we call wrap size, and a lot of companies don't do wrap size anymore. So what we're doing in this process is we're wrapping or putting the foam in the corners, and then we're going to be putting on what we would, did in step three where we made that gusset or that inner decking. And then this here is the, uh, gonna be the perimeter of the, of the bed itself. So, this is one of the 
the things that we have pre-done back like when we were doing the quilting, obviously you see it's quilted. So these here are the corners that we put in here um, so that the, the bed has a nice uniform corners to them and they're not caved in. We are now going to be binding the border to the gusset. So we have to move this over to the sewing table. Remember, we had a firm, heavy, dense HR foam down here, so it's the firmness. And now we're putting a nice, soft, uh, heavy density foam in the top of this. And in order for this to um, not shift around on the inside of it, we do have to glue this and, or laminate this to the, the inner decking. So when building the bed like this, it is time consuming, but it is going to, um, it is going to hold up better, so we want it to hold up and last, so that's why we go the extra step. So as you see, this can take uh, some time in order to um, glue and do all the right steps in order for this to be a quality built bed. So just trying to explain to the best that I can that we do go to, to, the, to the extent to make sure a bed is being proce processed perfectly and, and that so if you buy this bed, you won't be disappointed. This is a good buy, um, a good quality bed. It should um, last, uh, I don't know, anywhere from, you know, depending on the body weight and such, but it should last 10 years. So, so everything has now got to be trimmed in so that it, it, it's, that it looks uniformed on the sides. It takes time in order to make a quality product, and so uh, this it takes three men about an hour, hour and a half to get done. Um, so, it, so what I'm basically getting at, this is not a mass-produced product. This is a, a very well-built bed. One more thing before we actually finish this up. These are what we call our rotation labels or the turn labels. And so there is six months of the year on this red label, and it indicates that the April, May, and June should be at the head of the bed, and then October, November, and December would be at the foot of the bed. So the, these are gonna be ironed on, there, and there's a blue label that has the other six months. So you guys, after you buy this fine product, and you go buy these turn labels, this bed will last you twice as long. Took us some time to get it done, but hopefully you understood um, that this thing has got some good quality to it. Uh, it's handmade right here in, in the Quad Cities. Um, all the parts that are in here, down from the thread to the staples, the foam. The foam is made in Council Bluffs, Iowa. The cotton is in Tennessee. The staples are out of Michigan. So a complete American-made product and then actually all put together right here in the Quad Cities. With this finished product, it is 12 inches in thickness. Okay, this here is the, the box process. Um, this is... Uh, uh, we have these produced for us out of uh, Iowa, which is, it's uh, the Amish guys out there have approached us and they started building these for us about, oh, seven or eight years ago. And I'm just here to show you, I want to show you how well solid built these things are before we actually put it up on the table. Look how strong these things are. I mean, these things are just built. Don't try this at home though, okay? Okay, look at how great these things are put together. Now what he's doing is we have uh, pre-made this box cover where uh, on another sewing machine we have sewed the, the border and then the top panel to, um, together with the binding tape like we did on when we were sewing the mattress together. So this is all going to be color coordinated. And so you just basically, once the cardboard was put on here, he's going to slide this box cover over the top of it. This is uh, the part that we are now concealing the setup and they call this a dust cover. All right, well, as you see, this uh, has turned out to be a very good looking uh, set of beds here. And uh, if you decide to uh, help the Salvation Army out by buying one of these so that they can continue to do the things that they do, um, you will not be disappointed in this product. <laughs>